All right, so uh, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the Vernier Go Direct Force Sensor. Uh, so this one, you're going to do two of these for this lab. You also need to have a 500 gram mass. That's the smaller mass that's at the back stations. Uh, you do two of these as at the same time you need to for the lab. So what we're going to do, we need to connect it first and foremost. Once it is connected, it already is measuring force. We don't need to change anything else out, so you're good there. So we're done. And then we need to change some things here. So again, we need to calibrate this thing. So down at the bottom here where it says force, you're going to tap that. And then calibrate and zero. We're going to do both of those. We've got to do calibration first. So first things first, just as is with zero newtons of force on it, I'm going to go over to my keyboard and type that in. Hit enter and then you're gonna go and add the mass to it just like that and just let it hang there don't move it as much as you can try to keep it still and you're just gonna type in 4.9 for that one hit enter and then apply hit enter and now it's calibrated and then you got to zero it and then zeroing is the easier thing to do you just set it on the table and then again click the force button zero is your second option and there you go Make sure you are zeroing and you are calibrating the right ones. Well, you got to zero both, so it doesn't really matter on that, but calibration does. So make sure you check the code. When you do click this button, the code for it is here. So this is ends in 5.2, that's 5.2. If there's two sensors attached here, you'll have two options here. When you click on one, it will show you that and make sure that the one you're calibrating is the one you're holding in your hand as you're actually doing the calibration. Otherwise, you're going to calibrate the wrong ones and your numbers are going to be way off, okay? And other than that, you're just gonna pull against each other. The last step, one of the two force sensors, you do need to reverse it. Do this tap on this little reverse thing here to do that. I do need to zero this, so let me zero it real quick. And then I tap it again, and then again, there's my reverse. So that way it makes it so that the positive X direction is the same for both of them. So as you're pulling that direction, it's positive X. As you're pulling this direction, it's negative x or vice versa depending on which way you're pulling and pushing uh, so there you go